Welcome to Dakota Discusses. Today we will be watching cute and or funny animal videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, that was cute. Now I just went to go eat. It was cute though. Who else thinks birds are cute? Odie May! Hey! You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'd be so mad. But I also would laugh because... <laughs> How are you supposed to react in that situation? <laughs> Thank you, Mama Peter. Pinky, your mama's girl, remember? Come! Pinky? Pinky. <laughs> She's a traitor now. Pinky! Come on, let's go! Let's go, let's go, mama. Over. I felt that. Who else is like that with their pets? Let me know down in the comments because I feel like everybody at least related to this once in their lifetime. <laughs> there are gonna be times when I have a snack and I'm not gonna share it with you, okay? So you can stop looking at me because this is one of those times. Okay, that was adorable. <laughs> big hop. Oh, good girl. You guys see me. That was so cute. <laughs> the excitement, the amount of excitement this dog had <laughs> for that ball was just too adorable. <laughs> First off, best video idea I have ever seen in my entire life. The fact that that puppy is like Chucky and they put something in the dog's mouth to make it like film and it looks so freaking realistic. That was awesome. <laughs> Honestly, whose dog has woken them up like any of these? Let me know down in the comments. I would really like to know, honestly. <laughs> Did not know crabs could do that. <laughs> but that was super cute either way. That monkey was so cute. I just want to cuddle it.
I love how that squirrel had little happy feet when someone actually tried helping. Super glad someone actually saved him though. The fact that it had a helmet was so cute. <laughs> And that is why people do not own snapping turtles as pets. <laughs> oh, Jericho! Jericho? Jericho? Jericho! Hi! There you are! Hi, Mr. Hey, you didn't even finish breakfast. What are you doing? Hi. Good to see you. Cute rhino and all, but you wouldn't see me anywhere near it. <laughs> really did say let me show you how it's done excuse me excuse me I'm not gonna lie I love these TikToks but that was relatable no one can tell me their dog hasn't at least done that once okay <laughs> So last week, this little fellow wandered into my life, and we got along great. Whether she was dropped off or a wanderer, we do not know. She just popped under the gate one day. Regardless, took her in as one of my own. And I don't like raising ducks alone, so. You want a friend? After a long Craigslist search and a six hour drive, I think I found her a friend. Hey! No. Try to... it. wasn't good. Come see my bird. He gave me the duck in a goldfish box. But looked healthy, so I gave him some money and two turns I have more hard. I love it. Same? Hello! Let's get you in something comfier. And even though this one was a little bit bigger in size, they took an immediate liking to each other. So now I need names for two ducks. My room is off limits! I've lost all control as a father. God! I've built them this outdoor enclosure where they can hang out on hot days and get sunlight. Safe from predators. And when they're of age, they can hang out with the queen. 100% I need to get a duck because that was super cute. Sweetest moment ever. And that's just a fact. Like, it's not only dogs now, like, everyone can see. Uh, I don't even know how to respond to that one, to be honest. <laughs> Other than, for real, what sound is that? Pink punch punch, no punch back. No punch back. No punch back. Once I realized that dog was actually trying to punch him back for that punch buggy. <laughs> Done. Stop. That hurts.
Moira, that hurts. Ow. <laughs> Ow. adorable as goats ever <laughs> and that pig oh my god cuteness overload automatically <laughs> That noise was so cute. It makes me want to get a cow now. <laughs> Honestly, that just goes to show that animals have feelings too and need love like we do. <laughs> That was so cute. Honestly, I just learned something new too. Like, I did not know that rabbits could swim. <laughs> Nor did I know they put their ears down when they do. But that was super cute. And actually, I'd love to know more about rabbits. Like, does anyone know anything else about them? We got a new ball today. I don't have a feeling you're just gonna want this silly chicken. <laughs> with that chicken is super cute. I have never seen a donkey or a horse really play with anything like that. So I find that really interesting. <laughs> Did you change your mind? Would you like to come inside? <laughs> it's all snowy. <laughs> Do you want to come in? Do you want to come in? Okay. Okay. Come inside. Come in now. Come in. Good girl. Hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, she did change her mind, and I think everybody would too. <laughs> At some point in my life, I will 100% make sure that I will be touching otters, little tiny paws or hands or whatever. So cute. You'll hear
definitely didn't sound happy. But I'm glad they're friends now. More passion, more passion, more passion, more energy, more energy, more footwork, more footwork, more footwork, more passion, more energy. That dog really knows how to dance. Stop being a little brat. Stop. Stop thumping. Stop being mad. Ludwig, I'm sorry you're mad, but you can't just jump out here. <laughs> Ludwig, there's dogs here. And cats. <laughs> you can't just try to escape. It's not safe. Are you done throwing a fit? Are you chill? Do you want us to go back in there? <laughs> Ludwig, I understand you're angry, but it's because you're that what I don't need to be bad dog, sir. This is rude. It was for your safety that I had to block it off more, okay? Are you done? Are we are we good now? I guess bunnies also have attitudes. <laughs> I love how it copied the sound. Oh, I can't. It's too cute. I'm just gonna scooch in right here if you don't mind. Uh, shh. The caption is right. He indeed climbed in that dog's mouth himself. Hey guys, I'm in the Amazon rainforest and I just found this Pachu bird. He was sitting in the middle of the road so I had to move him. I'm out here looking for a 20 foot anaconda. But it's easier said than done. Check out this wandering spider. Boop. Oh, he almost got me. That bad boy is deadly. And so is this little guy. I wouldn't recommend holding him. But isn't he so cute and tiny? Check out this pink toad tarantula. This guy is so pretty. This is one of the biggest cane toads I've ever seen. Check out this mac daddy. I found a baby anaconda. Boop. I want a bigger one. Ooh, smoky jungle frog. Yoink. He's definitely not very happy with me. Ooh, check out this coral mud snake. Yoink. These guys are a rear fanged aquatic snake. Just mildly venomous. Check out this giant waxy monkey tree frog. Sometimes they wear cowboy hats around here. Those animals were cute, but I do think this guy is stupid for holding poisonous animals. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I can't believe it was spitting water outside the tank. That baby bunny was so adorable. I just want to squeeze it. <laughs> Introducing the finger monkey. Weighing less than an apple is the tiniest monkey on earth. They have the ability to leap over 30 times their body length across the treetop in the Amazon jungle. Finger monkeys are very social animals and live in groups of up to seven to eight members in the wild. They are very active and playful creatures that love to climb trees jumping from branch to branch. As omnivore animals, finger monkeys can eat a variety of food. However, their favorite food is tree gum, resin, sap, and other fluids that trees secrete. These mini monkeys groom one another and sleep together in places close to where they eat, and that helps establish a social bond. They are fussy about keeping their fur in good shape. Plus, both of the finger monkey parents participate to paint in raising the offspring. Interestingly, the older siblings also helped taking care of the younger ones. The parents teach important parenting gills to their children and help them to be good parents themselves when they reach adulthood. I need one of those finger monkeys. Like, right now. They're so adorable. This is what you do when you have an evil kitten and you want to get rid of them. You put them on a shiny surface and you... <laughs> yeet! I don't know. It seemed to come right back to me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh.
was absolutely adorable. I can't believe it. I actually went up to her and was like, peppy. <laughs> That was one of the most heartwarming videos I have ever seen in my life. I am so glad that panther cub is okay. And it was so, so sweet at the end. How you saw them just, like that panther remembered. It was so sweet, it almost got me crying. <laughs> Okay, I have to admit, that was so cute how it just kept trying to get it and <laughs> physically could not pull itself up. And it was 100% adorable. <laughs> that was not only adorable, but hilarious at the same time. <laughs> and that fish is definitely looking like it's gonna fight somebody. <laughs> sad at the same time but i'm glad the bird's okay introducing raccoon the world's newest pet breed while they've been notorious for raiding trash cans in the past as pets they channel that energy into playful curiosity you might have seen these little masked wonders navigating city streets or country woods but have you ever imagined one being your loyal companion those endearing bandit-like eyes paired with their tiny nimble hands can melt any heart Originating from North America, raccoons are not just clever, they're quick learners. Within no time, they'll figure out the ins and outs of their new home, perhaps even becoming the master of unlocking your cupboards. But don't worry, it's all in good fun. Rakens as pets are not just about their mischievous side, they're affectionate. 
forming strong bonds with their human families. Their playful antics and gentle nature have made them increasingly popular among pet enthusiasts, searching for a unique companion. Picture this, coming home to a furry friend who's just as excited to share their latest treasure find with you, be it a shiny trinket or a feather. Their natural curiosity means there's never a dull moment. So if you're looking to step out of the box and welcome a pet that's charming, cute, and a tad bit rascally, the raccoon awaits your invitation. I never knew so many people actually had pet raccoons. Seems very cute though. That is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my whole entire life. I loved how it swimmed back. That was adorable. That monkey is absolutely adorable. Oh my god, I want one now. <laughs> they were trying so hard to eat it, but they just missed every time. I have no comment for that. <laughs> <laughs> he was so hungry he just threw her right off into the water oh that was funny this is my beautiful gorgeous angel who has never done one thing wrong in her entire existence and this pile of lard has a warrant in three counties i love how it switched so quick Puppy was so cute playing with that ball. Well, trying to at least. <laughs> ah! I thought it was cute, but then it just scared me. <laughs> Once I realized what was on the dog's back, that's absolutely hilarious. That dog got big. I did not expect that. <laughs> That 
that poor cat just kept hitting him in the face. That lizard was trying so hard to run on that floor. <laughs> They can seriously jump. I didn't know cats eat corn, but that is very cool that they do, and I'm actually surprised that it didn't upset the cat's stomach. <laughs> This animal is the trifecta, cute, and also totally badass. The leaf sheep, a sea slug that can become solar power. Leaf sheep are very small. They get to about a centimeter long. They're found in coastal waters off Indonesia, Japan, and the Philippines. They like to eat algae, but instead of just digesting it like any ocean gel, they take the chloroplasts that the algae use to photosynthesize and incorporate it into their own cells, kind of becoming half plant, half animal. They become solar powered for months, generating their own food from the sun rather than eating. There are other sea slugs that can do this as well. They all kind of look like plant material, like the emerald green sea but the leaf sheep is definitely objectively the most cute. I've never seen those before, but I find it really cool that they can become solar powered. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Very cute frogs, but I didn't expect them to get that big actually. <laughs> That puppy was so tiny. Oh my God, it's so adorable. That's sad and cute at the same time. I'm glad that kid probably got a family though. The hiccup was absolutely adorable. Oh my God, that bunny eating grapes is so cute. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a cuteness overload again. Oh my God. <laughs> A fox is a unique pet to have, but now I probably understand why people get foxes. Because the sounds they make are so adorable. Those who own dogs, you know that every time you come back from wherever you went, the dog is happy and it's jumpy and it wants to lick you in the face. Even if you just went to get mail from the mailbox, they delight in your return. If you want to take them out for a car ride, they are the first in the car. They jump in, they don't care where it's going, but they're going somewhere. They're some of the most joyous creatures that live among us. Uh, dogs don't live as long as we do. 
Every single day a dog lives is equivalent to a week of your life. If they only get one day for every week you're alive, they make every day count. I'm just suggesting that their lives have already factored in their mortality. When I look at a dog, I use that as a, as a reminder of how I should live every day of my life. Because I get to live seven times as long. That about made me cry. <laughs> that is absolutely true, but sad at the same time. That hit a different way. <laughs> Okay, that, that was quite hilarious. There ain't no way that cat <laughs> tried to sneak out with nachos and ended up being stuck in a That's hilarious. <laughs> Puppy! Yeah. Hi, Puppy! Yay! I don't know what type of animal that is, but it 100% in my opinion sounds like a dog. <laughs> I can't believe that kitten was scared of a duster, but then attacked it at the end. It was absolutely freaking adorable. Actually, beyond adorable. <laughs> okay, that was actually hilarious. I don't know if they were fighting or play fighting, but the fact that when they did, it made music absolutely hysterical. <laughs> okay. I love how that mouse or hamster was wearing little shoes and like a hat or a wig or something. <laughs> That's funny too. No. I am terrified of spiders. No. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Hey, Wallace, come here. What you doing, boy? What you doing? Huh? Come here. Come on. <laughs> that would definitely be me if I owned a pig. <laughs> exact same laugh and everything. Oh my god, these are all so cute and adorable. Well, that's no good. We gotta go ahead and find this guy a new house. If only there was someone with a bag full of hermit crab houses. Here he is right here, the man of the hour. Okay, yoink. Throw him in the bucket and give him a couple options. And he likes the, the black stripe one. Good choice. Slide that slimy abdomen out and into the new home. Oh, whoa. That was crazy. <laughs> Don't see that every day. Have good life. Hermit crabs aren't really cute, but it is cool to see it get into a shell. hilarious and cute although I would like to know how 
I'm glad the dog didn't get hurt. A, extremely cute. And B, they can technically fly. That was flying. <laughs> Toy go. Hey, I don't care about my toy mom. I want to snuggle. What you want to do? Oh, hi, Munchkin. Hey, buddy. You want to pet you? so easy but who would have a pet fox and who wants one let me know down in the comments I feel like it would be a pretty cool pet to have <laughs> <laughs> I love how the big dog hit the small one and then at the end it ended up being the small dog who scared the big one In my opinion, hummingbirds are so elegant and beautiful. Just, oh my god. It is so cute. I'm going to have a cuteness overload. <laughs> cuddling with a sock oh my god I cannot It's a unicorn. played with a unicorn like toy it was so freaking cute oh my god <laughs> one hundred percent relatable every single time <laughs> That dog is so cute and fluffy. Oh my god. And how I was walking on ice, it just kept slipping a little bit. That's so cute. Introducing red pandas, cute creatures that make you want to give them a hug. Despite their name, they are not members of the great black and white panda family, 
but rather close cousins of raccoons. Their flamboyant coats, a mixture of red and brown, are a true work of art of nature. These small mammals, endemic to the high-altitude forests of the Himalayas and mountains of China, live a discreet existence, spending most of their time wandering in the branches of lush trees. Red pandas are mainly nocturnal creatures, which adds an aura of mystery to their personality. They rarely come down from the treetops, preferring to move nimbly through this high-altitude food ecosystem. The diet of red pandas consists mainly of bamboo, although they are also opportunists, occasionally eating insects, fruit, and small animals. These curious little creatures often live alone or in pairs, settling into comfortable nests made of leaves and branches. Females give birth to small litters of baby red pandas, usually two or three who are incredibly cute with their soft fur and sparkling eyes. The fact that they're cousins of raccoons and they eat bamboo is actually very interesting to me. As well as their colors, they're just so adorable. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. gonna be one incredibly lucky fawn because I don't think he's hurt. Yeah. Calm down little guy we'll get you out of there. deer was adorable and not only that <laughs> the deer kind of reminded me of like a husky as well <laughs> What type of noise was that? Scary, huh? The fire rider is gonna get you. Get it? <laughs> Feisty little thing. Cute as a button, though but it does not like that fire hydrant. <laughs> Are you grumpy? Are you a grumpy little gremlin? Are you a little grumpert wearing your grumpy pantaloons? Are you a floofy McGrump grump? Is it just me? But not with just goats, but with all animals? That when they're mad, you just generally think they're cuter. <laughs> Very cute, and I would watch Tom and Jerry all day, wrapped in a blanket if I could. When its eyes got bigger, that was absolutely adorable.
puffish was cute, but the fact that it can actually bite through those shells is terrifying. <laughs> Introducing the pygmy goat, a charming little ruminant with a big personality that's impossible to resist. Native to the rugged landscapes of West Africa, particularly Cameroon, the pygmy goat is famous for its compact size and friendly nature. Its adult size can vary between 16 and 23 inches. The pygmy goat's coat comes in many colors, from caramel to black. Despite its small size, it is a robust, hardy animal that can adapt to different environments. These social creatures thrive in the company of their fellow creatures, and are also surprisingly friendly with humans, especially if raised in a stimulating environment from an early age. Their inquisitive nature and gentle disposition make them ideal for those looking for a friendly, easy-to-manage pet. Pygmy goats graze mainly on vegetation, with a diet consisting of grasses, leaves, and sometimes fruits and vegetables. Providing them with a balanced diet and proper care ensures their health and happiness. These delightful creatures can give birth to multiple kids, adding to the joy they bring to those who care for them. Those goats were absolutely adorable. And now I want one. That is the cutest fox ever. Like, I need... Like, Gimme. <laughs> It's a dog? I'm taking it home. <clears throat> so my coworker was actually wrong. This is not a dog. This is my boy. He is a fox. Just like his daddy. <laughs> Where are you? Hey! <laughs> Were you sleeping? Were you sleeping? Yeah. What? Did you have a good nap? Yeah. <laughs> Is that your toy? Is that your toy? Is that your toy? <gasps> Can I see it? Can I see it? <laughs> Definitely not a dog. <laughs> And the second one with the ears was absolutely adorable. They're just all so cute. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. The struggle of having a big dog. 100% relatable. Come here. Come here. Come here. Go back. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Let's get you into the woods over here. Let's get you into here. Okay, there you go. Get into there. Bunny looks so cute and so fluffy. I want I just want to cuddle it. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below which one is your favorite and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe and notification button as I will be posting multiple times a week under different genres. Liking, subscribing, and commenting will actually help other people see this and help me a lot. I have placed a whole bunch of links down in the description below, including the video shown, my Discord, other social media links, and side projects.
Thank you all for all your support and I'll see you all next time. Bye.